Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Today, we're going to read um, an article uh, entitled, Rapids Judge Recuses Himself in Sovereign Citizen Cases. These are two cases in federal court with sovereign citizen Moors that I do not believe we have yet recovered. Tell me, what is going on in this country? Friends and family, what is going on? Where has the common sense gone? Um, but before we dig into this article, please like, subscribe, comment, and share if you enjoy my content. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscriptions. The majority of my viewers are not subscribers. So go ahead, subscribe, get me to 10,000. It'll allow me to do some cool new stuff on these videos that will make it better for you and better for me. Also, I got an email list. Sign up for the email list. Get a free PDF, History and Examination of the Sovereign Citizen Movement, just for signing up. It comes in two emails, and make sure to check your spam. It doesn't usually go to spam, but it has for some people. Before we dig into this article, uh, raise your glass, your stein, your cup in the air for the same time sip. I prefer Diet Coke, Coke Zero. I also like coffee. You're drinking your beverage of choice because it's going to relax you and uh, our sip is going to be a little more fun and you'll enjoy the article that much more. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Okay, it says here, Rapids judge recuses himself in sovereign citizen cases. New judge already assigned to the cases. Cases against an accused sovereign citizen from Ball who tried to file trillions in fake liens against Rapids Parish public officials will continue after the judge recused himself earlier this month. Looks like we're in Louisiana, folks. Um, you know, they, they talk about parishes. Ninth Judicial District Court Judge Greg Beard recused himself from the case of cases of Marie Vet Canada on February 12th. That's her pictured in the video two days after the state and defense offered a joint motion for a continuance. Beard's order offered no explanation for the recusal, which was not requested by either the prosecution or the defense. Her trial and hearings on several motions filed by defense attorney James Ward II also were continued without date. She has been charged with 25 counts of filing false liens against law enforcement, court, or state officers or state employee. I will just state real quickly, generally a judge will recuse themselves if there's some sort of conflict of interest. So maybe they represented one of the parties before um, when they were attorneys. Um, I have a feeling in this case though, with a district judge, maybe he knows some of the individuals who had um, their lien, the liens, the fake liens filed against them. And he doesn't think he'd be able to rule fairly because they are perhaps his friends, something along those lines. I'm just speculating. The Bill of Information in one case was amended February 21st to add the 25th count against her. No arraignment date on that charge has been set. Last year, Canada mailed documents from the Moorish National Republic federal government that claimed ownership of public buildings and attempted to file trillions in liens against officials with the city of Alexandria, the Alexandria Police Department, and Rapids Parish Sheriff's Police. Hold on one second here, uh, folks. Trillions. Usually these lean, these fake liens are filed in the millions, okay? I think we've even seen billions, but trillions? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I find this next part of the article funny. It goes, the Republic doesn't exist, though. It's an offshoot of the sovereign citizens movement that incorporates beliefs of the Moorish Science Temple of America, a religion founded in the early 20th century. Usually news articles aren't that blunt with a statement like the Republic doesn't exist, though. So I got to give a shout out to this journalist. Um, and then, and then the journalist calls it a religion, which was founded in the early 20th century. I don't know. Does it? Does anybody know? Does that science, more science temple have official status as a religion? 
to me, it's more like a club, like the uh, the Freemasons. I don't know. <laughs> it's a. It feels it. It's a club. I mean, to call it a religion, really. The church disavows those who use its teachings as part of the sovereign citizen movement, stating on its website that it is in no form or fashion a sovereign citizen movement or a tax protester movement. Consequently, our teachings are diametrically opposed to that ideology. I mean, good on them for opposing the ideology. And I have no problem with a club like this. That uh, You know, uh, people have all sorts of weird clubs out there. You got business clubs, you got ethnic clubs, you got stuff like the... Uh, like uh, the Freemasons, okay, you know, this is just another club. Uh, but, you know, and, and I don't know, maybe they are considered a church or a religion under U.S. law, but good on them for disavowing this nonsense. However, I'm sure that there's people who are part of the religion that, that do avow, that do support this nonsense, okay, but it sounds like the church officially does not, which is a good thing. Canada 53 denied being a sovereign citizen in her first court appearance, even as she admitted to sending the documents. I did, but it's not real, she said. Well, it looks like that's going to be her legal defense. I mean, that, that may be a better defense than saying um, that the United States is actually Morocco. But a rapid Paris sheriff's detective testified he would classify her as a sovereign citizen, a person who believes not all laws or taxes apply to them. Past clashes between sovereign citizens and law enforcement have been deadly. It appears that Louisiana is a hot spot for sovereign citizens. Uh, we saw that shooting several years ago. The two, the one guy's um, going on trial, uh, a death penalty case that just started in the last few months. That happened in Louisiana. This is in Louisiana. What's going on down in Louisiana? What's in the water down in the bayou? A man officials identified as Canada's husband, Terrence Dion Anderson, sent similar packages under the name Terrence Dion Bay, our name Bay, our Bay there. Packages from both Canada and Anderson were sent via certified mail and were copied to multiple organizations and agencies in Washington, D.C., reads one of the reports. Anderson faces 24 felony counts of the same charge and will be in court for a March 18th conference. The fake liens targeted Sheriff William Errol Hilton, Alexandria Mayor Jeff Hall, and Chief Jared King, among others. Here's where it gets good. The court cases stem from an April 2019 traffic stop after Canada passed an Alexandria officer on Hyman Lane while driving about 30 miles per hour in the 50 mile per hour zone of J.B. Nachman Elementary School. Listen here, even if you don't believe the laws apply to you, don't drive that fast in a school district. Don't do it. The officer whipped around to follow her, first turning on his lights and then his siren. Canada stopped in traffic near the intersection with Coliseum Boulevard. As the officer told her to move out of her car out of traffic, Canada allegedly told him several times that she, he should have run her license plate to find out who she was that he wasn't allowed to stop her and that she didn't have to listen to him according to the report. We all know, we all know, right to travel. She got back into her 2015 Chevy Equinox and left. The officer followed with his lights and sirens on and Canada soon pulled over again. This time he pulled his weapon after seeing her reach into the car's center, center console. Jeez, oh man. But she walked to him with her hands up and was handcuffed. She told him her name was Maria Demia Bay. She stated she did not have to obey the laws of the United States and did not have to obey the laws of Louisiana because she was a free citizen, reads the report. The car didn't have an inspection sticker and sported a metal license plate that read Moorish Temple of New Kemet, MNK 65792. Here's my question. Does the Moorish Temple, um, I mean, are they, are they issue, when they issue these license plates, are they randomly selecting these numbers? Or is this the 65,792nd license plate, fake license plate issued by these people? That's what I want to know. 
She turned, she turned a right, a, a typical, a, a short little right to travel stop. Okay, we see these all the time. You might get with your window busted, go to jail, pay a fine. Okay, she turned that into a federal crime by filing these fake liens. Another report stated that Canada kept telling the officer she didn't have to obey the federal or state laws in things such as you don't understand it now, but you will. And this is not the U.S. This is Morocco. Ma'am, this is the United States. It is not Morocco, okay? The Louisiana law the pair is accused of, a vi of violating doesn't cover all public officials, though. Elected officials like Mayor Hall aren't covered under the laws. Well, that's a weird loophole. loophole. Canada's cases already have been reassigned to Judge Chris Hazel and Rapids Parish District Attorney Chris Bowman expects them to be back on the docket soon. Oh, okay, so this is in state court. It's not in a federal court. They just call them district court judges. All the uh, Ninth Judicial District Court judge. I don't know if this is in federal or state court. I believe this is in state court. Regardless, doesn't really matter. Um, you know, what we have here is a couple of more sovereign citizens who turned a right to travel stop into them facing multiple, multiple years of jail time. What we've already seen in the past two years is one 25-year sentence handed down for the fake liens in a five-year sentence. Um, what, do, what do we predict will happen with these two? It's, it'll probably be in between 5 and 25, though it, it looks to me like um, Ms. Canada is going to show some remorse and regret, and that might help her get some leniency um, with these cases. Man, let me tell you, law enforcement is coming down hard on these. I wouldn't want to be on the wrong side of these types of cases. Thank you all for watching the Common Sense Academy. Joe Pometto here. Joe the Lawyer. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers. And then um, I can do some cool uh, dual screen stuff on YouTube. Also, I will get a merchandise shelf and we'll have some fun merchandise to offer. Um, so get me to 10,000. And uh, also subscribe to my email list and you will get to, uh, you will get a free PDF for the history of the, an examination of the sovereign citizen movement. All the details are in my description. Common Sense Academy out.